Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today. Today is Wednesday and we are getting things done around the farm. It is actually happening. So I'm super excited about this. You guys know I'm getting a new buck and it's a baby. He's a baby right now, but by the time breeding season happens, he will be grown up enough to get the job done. What's really weird about me is that I always look for signs in life to reassure myself that I'm going in the right direction. So when I bought this buck, this little baby buckling, um, I was like, oh, did I do the right thing? Like, get so caught up in genetics when you're trying to breed like the best goats that you possibly can. And I was like so worried and so stressed out trying to figure out if he was the right one. I loved his genetics, but there are just so many bucks out there, like so many goats out there that I could have chose from. And I was like stressing myself out. And then that night when I went to bed, I had a dream. And I dreamed this buck and I dreamed him laying on a platform kind of like that up against the wall I'll show you guys in a minute where I dreamed him and I dreamed him laying there in the Sun and I dreamed um, that he was a really peaceful goat and that I loved having him like that he worked out beautifully and he was exactly what I wanted and so I felt so much better after I had that dream and that's how I've lived my whole entire life I've always dreamed if something is a good choice or if something is a bad choice and I've always dreamed if certain things are gonna work out or if they're not gonna work out so when Sam decided that he was gonna make this for me I was so excited because I didn't even ask him to make it it's just like my dream coming true anyway I'm super excited because this is like the start of my dream and I can't wait for a time when I can't wait for the time when he comes home I know he's the right goat same thing happened with Sophie's horse I was really stressed really worried is she the one I tried not to take myself so seriously if she's not the one we're only leasing it's fine I know my heart though I fall in love so easily I already tried not to fall in love with this horse <laughs> failed like the first time I met her I failed and I had a dream I can't even hardly even remember the dream but the dream was that I had to bring her home like it was not just that I had to lease her it was that I had to lease her and bring her home so Anyway, after that, I started to feel a lot better about it. I literally cannot wait for her to come home. Where is my pig? Is my pig in here? Where are you? I hear you. Oh, she knows where the she knows where the food is. I bet you. Yep. Come on. <laughs> come on, piggy. You got to go to the goat area. Come on. <laughs> this is what my house looks like when she's running around. Somehow I thought this was going to be taller. <laughs> I don't know why, but Oh, it was, and then you turned it around. Oh, well, I still really like it. I think that they're gonna love it. I can po put hay in there. In fact, I'd like it even better if you put more wood on the sides so that it keeps the rain out. But I also wanna paint it. I'm a more of like a plain kind of person. I like plain colors, I like neutrals, but I really want our goat area to be super vibrant. I wanna get a lot of paint. I wanna get like a bunch of different colors. I wanna paint everything a different color. I wanna paint like, each one of these things a different color and I want it to be like super bright vibrant color I need you to help me get the pig in the barn all right well let's see if we can bribe her to come down to the barn down to the goat barn I got a perfect way to open this come on Posey we got a treat follow us for a treat oh she found food maybe Oh, she loves bananas. Okay, wait, don't give her the whole thing. Make her follow us. Well, Ellie, stop. <laughs> Every time I'm holding the camera and trying to film an animal, another animal is literally climbing on top of me, making it all wobbly. It's okay, you got more. Yeah, all right, let's go. Bribe her down. Okay. Come on. This is my least favorite part of spring, is when the grass grows faster than you can keep it cut. I literally cut it on Sunday. And it's three days later and it's so bad again. Sit. 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 Put your hand all the way up high because she doesn't really like to put her butt on the ground. <laughs> she does. Ellie, stop chasing the camera cord. She loves the bananas. Oh, you do it. People come over, she's gonna banana. Ellie, stop. <laughs> All the dogs like to lick her her butt. That is 
not smart. <laughs> he thinks he can get out by pushing his face in. So uh, this is where I want it to go. This is where I dreamed. I dreamed that it was up against a wall. So I think it'll fit perfectly underneath that window on these, on these rocks here. All right, my dreams are coming true. So many dreams have come true on this farm. It's small, but I like it. They're small goats. Yeah, they're small goats. Good job, Sam. This is actually so cute. It's so cute how everybody sleeps out here and then there's chickens in the middle of it. Everybody doesn't, nobody minds the chickens. Goats fight each other constantly. They are always vying for leader. Yet they let little tiny chickens out here. And then there's a Sophie too. All right, that's get it. Some extra wood then cover up. Yeah, we should. I'll put some. Cover up this. And Is it done? Cover up like a. You should cover up a piece of the bottom too, like so that it's like good from the. They can, like if you cover, put a piece of wood from here over, then it they can go in and have a door and be in the shade because that's pure that? sun. Can I put a window on it? Yeah. So if I get another piece of this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I can put it. I have a skid. All right. That has this. I, if I can take it apart. Anyway, that's what that's what he ended up doing. Definitely, we can make it a little bit prettier. But I like it. I like that they have like a little platform to jump off of and to climb up on. <laughs> so if he's gonna put a goat up there, first one up. It would have been Winston Jesus. <laughs> this little black guy is so funny because he actually looks like he has a grouchy face. How to take photos of your goats. Put them on oh yeah, we could take pictures of all of our goats up there. It'd be so cute. I'll grab the next one. All right, let's see what happens. Look, you can jump down and climb. Here comes somebody. We build all this stuff for the goats and nobody likes it. He likes it. I'll put you. Put him on the ramp. I know. Wow. And then there's the pig. She's like, I'll go. They're eating it. There we go. They might like this. We do not have adventurous goats. Comes Rocky. Rocky looks good. He looks perfect. Yeah, Sam's gonna put something on there to give them some traction. I actually should have turned it sideways so that the opening was on the side so that at least it protected them from the sun a little. She's like, What are you babies doing? Where did when did this get here? She's like a mean mom. Look, they love it! He's so grouchy and heavy. He's tired, probably. There. You love your witch. You already pooped on it. Oh, they already. That's the bad thing about platforms with goats. They poop on them, and then you gotta sweep them off all the time. Look at, she's the queen of her castle. That's the way it's always been. <laughs> she's always been the queen. She's like, get off, you're not my baby. It's just for me and my babies. <laughs> so rude. They love it. Look at them, you guys. They are obsessed with it. I thought they'd all just jump up and then jump down, but they love it. They love everything about it. Even Mocha's out there. That's awesome. Oh, even Blossom's interested. No, you can't put any of your goats up there because the mom is guarding it from everybody. Nobody's allowed up there. It's like her whole life, she just prayed to have a castle so she could be the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else can go on, just her babies.
Megan's a mess again. She needs like a big brush. She still has a lot of hair to come out. This baby, I know it can take a while for horses to like shed out a little more quickly. We don't like stubborn Appaloosas. We don't like stubborn Appaloosas. All right, brown and white, my favorite color combo. They're excited now. No, I put Willow's halter on and I said, we're going to get some treats, like going to eat grass. And she like trotted up to me and I started walking to the yeah, other field to get honey. Quick, here comes the pig. Here comes the big horses. Uh oh, quick, quick. Oh my gosh. Actually, I thought it would be a lot less calm than this. Gracie's moving away from the pig. So we decided to bring everybody out to grass. We actually need some kind of a hook to put these things on. But basically we're gonna leave the ponies out here for a short time. And you're probably thinking that's so mean for the big horses. But Sam opened this gate, I don't know if Penny will go in there because of the storm though. Come on, Pen. You can do it. He's not the boss. Hi, Storm. What do you think? He's like, I'm happy. Well, you need a brush too. Come on, Pen. There's a lot of grass here. Come here, honey. Over here, come on. Come on. Come on, this way, come on. <laughs> she wants to push it closed. That's what happens when you teach your horse. Come on. Come on. Okay, she's not that smart. She can't figure out how to get in there. All right, you got it. It's okay. Just don't run. There you go. We have to do this, this, you have to drag this. All right. Oh, and there you are, shouldn't be in there. It's okay. <laughs> Look at Storm. He's like, <laughs> he's got his mouth full of dandelions. Yeah, uh oh, run piggy, run. She's happy, you hear her? She's like, oh, thank God. I've been waiting for this. See how she walks there? She's like walking sideways to let Storm know that she's passing him, but she doesn't want to get near him. And he's like, I don't care if you don't want to get near me, I'm going to get near you because it's fun for me. She wants the good grass. I think, she, yeah, Storm always has a mouthful of grass. Don't run, you're fine. She, I know, she was warning him. I'm going by you, I don't want you to bother me. I am a boiling hot though. All right, it may be a tiny little field for them, but it's some grass. And the babies are all happy, eating their dandelion fluff. You guys, look at how cute. Mama and her babies. And then these ones over here. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Everybody loves this now. They all want on it. I could totally see honey going on it. Sophie's gonna give the pony some water because they can't get to the water, the big horses can. But we're only gonna leave them out here for an hour because you gotta go slow. Okay, honey can stay on here all day. She's been eating good grass. <laughs> yeah, honey's been on grass all day, every day. <laughs> it's like, they love this. It's weird. They won't go out in the grass to play. They just wanna be like here and play here. Also, we put water for the pig. I don't know what I want to do with these. I've got two big tires and I want to do something really fun with them. I just don't know what. Don't you know the